morning, PGA DFS fans, or if you're checking this out in the afternoon or evening, a good day to you all. I am Jason Roslin here on the Awesome O YouTube channel, back with another short form video. This one, the top five values for the Mexico Open, a new event on the PGA Tour calendar with a new course, always brings a couple of new challenges. So let's jump right in to my top five values. Of course, we want to make sure you like and subscribe to our Awesome YouTube channel here for all of this great content. You get notified when it comes on air and live. And of course, our odds shopper channel as well, where we put a plethora of amazing sports betting content on. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video sponsored by Yahoo here this week. As we move in, there's only really one fantastic player, I will say, in this field this week. And it is John Rahman. Typically, I start off with the lower priced guys. I thought I had to at least mention the higher price guy in John Rahm. Since, believe it or not, he rates out as still one of the best values on the board, if not the best value in the entire slate, even being priced at 11300 So let's go back now to the beginning and start with Dylan Wu. He's coming in at just $6,600 this week. And he's ranked second just behind John Rahm here in our Osmo value rank, part of our Osmo Plus tools. And if you're not already an Osmo Plus member, well, I have got a great deal for you. So just hold on to that. We'll check it out here after we go over the players. Okay, so Dylan Wu. We know that there's no course history here this week. It's a new event. I let you know that off the top of this. But in recent form, he didn't play at Harbortown a couple of weeks ago, but did play well last week at a team event in Zurich with his teammate Justin Lauer. So I feel like there's a little bit of momentum coming in for Wu here this week, who, as we go over his strokes gain ranks, is certainly improving over his last couple of starts. 148 off the tee, 86 on the approach, 142 around the green, and 45, or 45th, I should say, putting. So clearly his putter has been his best attribute this year. But last week certainly looks good with his ball striking. So take, keep an eye on Dylan Wu, PGA Tour rookie this year. Another guy... Uh, that I want to talk about here this week. This is a little bit different than Dylan Wu, who's kind of coming into his own. This is Matt Wallace. And Matt Wallace, through part of last year, looked like he would be a perennial contender on the PGA Tour, coming over from the DP World Tour. But a terrible season, awful season for Wallace. He's missed a ton of cuts. But last week, he broke that streak a little bit at playing well with Sam Horsfield in the Zerge Classic. Maybe that got his juices going. And as we look into his strokes gain rank, we can see why he needs to get them going. Ranked 202nd off the tee, 196 on the approach, 157 around the green, and 183rd putting. That all of that, every single facet needs to improve. But with an easy golf course this week, coming off a made cut last week, maybe it's time for Wallace to break through. Another guy that it certainly seems like it's time to break through, contrary to Wallace, maybe that it should be time. Well, Seifert, Chase Seifert here, it seems like it is time. This guy seems to play well in every start that he gets, but he's playing out of a difficult category this year, the 126 to 150 category. So he doesn't get all that many starts, but when he does, he does typically play well. He played last week with teammate Hank Lebiota, Florida State teammate there at the Zurich Classic and played pretty well. He's ranked 12th on our Osmo value rank here this week. And when we take a look at his strokes gained, we can see why he does compete when he does play. Ranks 130th off the tee. That's not great, but how about top 25 on strokes gained on the approach this year, ranked 24th. Plus, if he misses the green on his approach, he's typically pretty good around the green as well. Ranked 62nd this year, 152nd with his putter. So certainly he needs to pick that up. All right, now we move on to maybe my most controversial pick of the week, and that's Mark Hubbard. The reason why I picked him is because he's the second best value. I'm sorry, third best. I forgot about John. No. Second best value in the 8,000 pricing range and third best value of, uh, of for any golfer priced above 8,000 in the field this week. But he's ranked 52nd in the overall value. So what does that mean? That means that the pricing this week outside of John Rahm seems like there is a lot of strong pricing or high pricing, I should say, but that's because of the strength of field. So for Hubbard, let's try and move past that he's maybe not the best value on the board, but still one of the best values above 8,000. And we take a look at his strokes game rank. He's been playing well no matter what tour he's been playing on. Played good last week with Ryan Brem at the Zurich. Played well the week before that on the Corn Ferry Tour. He's also playing out of that same 126 to 150 category as Chase Seifert is. 
It's just tough for these guys to get starts. But when he does start, he does play pretty well. Let's see why. 164th off the tee, that's certainly not going to help him, but it gets much better after that. 54th on the approach, 32nd around the green, and 54 putting for Mark Hubbard. He's coming in at $8,000 this week on DraftKings. Maybe a little pricey, but still one of the best values. Okay, and I already mentioned John Rahm. He's going to be number five because he is ranked number one value on the Osmo Value Board, and he's the highest priced golfer, and he's the highest owned golfer, and he's the best golfer in the field. So a lot going on there for John Rahm who has not had a great season. One of, or two of the reasons why, is because his short game is the worst it's been in his entire career. He's ranked 173rd around the green and 132nd with his putter. That is not like John Rahm, but he's ranked first off the tee and 12th on the approach. So maybe the win or top end form is not all that far away, even though he came in 27th at the Masters a few weeks ago. And it's been quite a while since he's been in the top five. So. Maybe this, a, a very weak field here in Mexico will change that. So, all right, thanks to Yahoo. I mentioned off the top that we've got a great deal with them. If you're not already an Osmo Plus Platinum member, now is the time to do so. And we've got a deal with Yahoo to get you started. If you're a new member over there, you have not signed up. All you got to do is sign up, make a deposit, and play in your first paid contest. And you are going to get a free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. So, take a look at that. We've got every sport going on right now except for NFL which before you know, we'll have NFL content. In fact, I just saw yesterday we put up some NFL content. So I feel like we've got things going on for every sport. Doesn't matter if it's F1 or if it's PGA, MLB or NBA, we've got you covered. So sign up with that deal at Yahoo. And make sure you join Ben Raz and I on Live Before Lock Wednesday night at eight o'clock, just in case you're watching this later than Tuesday afternoon when the PGA strat DFS strategy show will be going on. So until next time, everybody, good luck at this week's Mexico Open. Try to find some ways to play ROM. Maybe turn to the betting market and don't play them on DraftKings or Yahoo. That is exactly what Ben and I are going to go over tomorrow on Live Before Luck. So until then, everybody, good luck, and we will see you on the other side. Cheers.